The first uh, step that we need to do in terms of the uh, sink replacement reactions is that they ask us to take a look at the reagents that we're using. And on your data sheet, there's places where you can write down that information. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what magnesium looks like. I went ahead and put these in the different test tubes. So the magnesium that we're using looks like these magnesium ribbons. Um, in your lab book, it may say put the metal wires. We use what we have in stockroom. So it doesn't matter if it's a wire, if it's a plate, if it's a ribbon, it's all going to react the same. Typically, if you have powders, the reaction may take place quicker because you've increased the surface area. But if there's a reaction that's going to take place, it's going to take place. So magnesium, the silver uh, kind of ribbon shaped solid. And then for the iron powder, we have kind of a light charcoal, I guess I would say, light charcoal, and this is a powder, but again, react the same. And then for copper, we have the copper, and I would just, it's hard because everybody wants to say, well, it looks like copper. Can we use a different term other than that? How about maybe rose gold, maybe a rose gold solid, and these are little uh, plates of copper metal, and that's fine. So we've got the metals, what they look like, and then what we'll do is after, we're going to add solutions to these, and I'll show, I will already have these in test tubes, so I'll show you what the solutions of those look like as well. So for the first part, we're going to take these three metals, the magnesium, iron, and copper, I've already put these in separate test tubes, and then we're going to use hydrochloric acid, and hydrochloric acid is a colorless liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that and put into a test tube and we'll see what happens. And you can see we have a tremendous amount of bubbles that's forming. And it's so hot I can't touch it for any length of time. Now we'll let the bubbles subside. If I added enough of the hydrochloric acid, really all of the magnesium would dissolve. And I still see some pieces of magnesium that's in there. There should not be much of a change in the color if there's any magnesium left. It should still be that shiny color. But notice we did form bubbles. The, there was a very exothermic reaction. So did a reaction occur? We would say yes. So what does that mean? Remember we've got magnesium plus HCl. The metal by itself has to do the replacing. The metal will replace either hydrogen, which is what it did here, because we're not using another ionic compound, we're using an acid. So did a reaction occur? We would say yes. Okay, I have some iron. Okay. We have some iron in a test tube. And I'm going to add some of the HCl to that as well. So for the addition of the hydrochloric acid to the iron, we have some um, bubbles that's formed. The solution turned a little bit of an orange color, or excuse me, yellow color. Uh, that could be some impurity that might be in the iron. But we do have a reaction where there is some bubble formation. I'm going to shake that just a little bit. And again, if we are seeing the bubbles, that means that there is a reaction. So that means Fe replaced the hydrogen. So what does that tell us? That tells us that iron is more active than hydrogen. What did it tell us with the magnesium? That magnesium is more active than hydrogen. What does that tell us overall? Well, right now we know that magnesium is more active than hydrogen, iron is more active than hydrogen, but if I were to ask you, who do you think is more active, magnesium or iron, I believe I would say magnesium because that reaction happened instantaneous in a much more vigorous type of reaction. So the last one we're going to take a look at with the HCl, I've got the copper in a test tube. I'm going to add some HCl to that. So here we've got copper in the HCl. If you notice, I'm just kind of shake a little bit, a couple bubbles just on mixing, but I don't see any um, bubbles forming. I don't see any change in color of the metal or the solution. I don't notice a temperature change. So what does that tell us? Nothing happened. So that means copper is not more reactive than hydrogen, but it is less active than hydrogen. 
And let me go back. I just want to touch the bottom of the test tube for the FE. I do not notice a temperature change with the iron in the HCL. The only one I noticed a temperature change was for the magnesium.